Hey you guys, I'm Dr. Ben Wise from the Kelowna Skin Cancer Clinic. If you've been diagnosed with actinic keratosis, better known as precancers, this video is for you. Today, I would like to discuss these precancers, their risks, and how we can manage them. Actinic keratosis develops from UV radiation from the sun, tanning beds, and free radicals around us. This UV radiation causes photo damage, leading to DNA damage in the skin. This damage typically appears on the face, ears, bald scalp, neck, chest, and forearms. This type of DNA damage is not acute. It is chronic damage that occurred years ago when you were younger, especially in your teenage years or early 20s. You are most at risk if you are of European descent, have light colored eyes, and have fair skin. When you're young, your robust immune system keeps these abnormal cells under control. Unfortunately, as we age, our immune system struggles to manage these precancer cells. Actinic keratosis can change into squamous cell skin cancer. There are three main categories of skin cancers. The most common is basal cell cancer. The second most common is squamous cell cancer and melanoma is the third. Squamous cell cancer is the only skin cancer that has a precancer phase called actinic keratosis. Most if not all squamous cell cancers form from actinic keratosis, but luckily not all actinic keratosis will change into squamous cell skin cancer. According to this American Skin Cancer Foundation poster, about 10% or more of actinic keratosis may turn into squamous cell skin cancer. This statistic is for the general public, but the patients we see typically have more skin damage and risk factors, increasing their risk of actinic keratosis, changing into squamous cell cancer. To explain how precancers work, I compare them to dental plaque. Dental plaque cannot be cured. It can only be managed to prevent cavities. Similarly, precancers or actinic keratosis are not curable. We can only manage and slow down their progression with lifestyle changes and some medications. The most crucial way to manage your precancers is to stay out of the sun and protect your skin against daylight using SPF 50 sunscreen, UV protective clothing, and sunglasses and hats. However, sometimes even this is not enough to manage these precancers. There are several medical treatment options to manage these precancers. It's important to remember that for each visible actinic keratosis, there are about 10 subclinical, not visible ones. We treat these as field of precancers, addressing both clinical and subclinical areas. Two main medications are used specifically for precancers and cancer cells, not affecting normal skin cells. Both are equally effective. The first treatment option is Effidex, a topical chemotherapy cream. It has limitations, such as treating only a limited area at a time and significant side effects, including swelling, redness, open sores, bleeding, pain and discomfort. The treatment duration is typically twice a day for a month on specific areas like the face and ears or the upper scalp. You will also need to stay out of daylight due to photosensitivity. The second option is photodynamic therapy, which uses Medfix or Levilan. These are not chemotherapy, but photosensitizers. A gel medication is applied to the treatment area at our office by a nurse. After about two hours, the medication is activated with a light source, either red or blue light. This method is faster and has fewer side effects than Ephedex. However, faster with fewer side effects does not mean more effective, as there is a considerable cost difference between photodynamic therapy 
and FNX field therapy. If you are considering photodynamic therapy, we might have discussed priming or preparing the skin before treatment. A precancer is like a turtle hiding under its shell. The better we can prime or descale the crust, the better the medication will be absorbed, resulting in a better outcome. An example of such a priming agent would be Dovabed gel, a synthetic vitamin D indicated for treating psoriasis. Don't worry, you don't have psoriasis. We use Dovabed gel off-label as a priming agent to descale the skin and activate your immune system to prepare for your treatment. We might also recommend it, a high dose of oral vitamin D 10,000 international units daily for five days before your treatment. Please remember that you will have a dedicated nurse who will be your care coordinator for the treatment you decide on. They will help you plan your treatment and answer any questions. Thanks for listening.